Hi, this is Rabbi Fleschel giving you something special on Animal Torah. In this week's Torah portion, the Jewish people are given the Torah. What an amazing thing. But if we put it into perspective, they didn't just get the Torah. It was something that they had a struggle to get to. They were in Egypt and they went through slavery. And then after they went over the Red Sea, they had to go through 10 very difficult tests. And then they achieved the level that was necessary to get to the Torah. But one situation was remarkable where the Jewish people almost lost everything. And that was when they had arrived at the Red Sea. In front of them was death. When they looked behind them, they saw the Egyptians coming towards them, which was death. If they go into the sea, they die. They go towards the Egyptians, they die. That was a tremendous struggle. The Midrash says that it's comparable to this little bird. The little bird is flying away from a big bird of prey. And it doesn't know what to do. It's not quick enough to escape from this big bird of prey. So what does it do? It looks down at the ground and goes directly towards the ground. And when it reaches the ground, it sees a hole. And it goes inside the hole. And it knows that this hole is not big enough for the big bird to get in. in. And then at that moment... The little bird feels safe, but then it looks behind it and it sees a big snake coming towards it. Outside the hole is this big bird of prey. Inside the hole is a snake pursuing it. What can this little bird do? So the Midrash says the bird starts to flap its wings. It tried to make the biggest sound that it could possibly do. But why? It hoped that there was a human upstairs, uh, outside the hole, that would hear the commotion and therefore whoosh the big bird away and then hopefully see the snake and kill it. That's the Jewish people. The Jewish people are at the Red Sea. In front of them is death. Behind them is death. So the only thing that they could do is pray. Make as much noise as possible to the Almighty. And if the Almighty hears... Maybe he would split the sea for them. But the reason why this is an uh, important message and a powerful message is that how much times in life do we go through this? Where we feel we're at a dead end. Where life see, feels and, and you see life ending before you. Like what, what can I, whatever you do, there's not a right solution. Sometimes in life that happens to us. And when we are in that situation, we know that we can do one thing. Make noise. Pray to God. And we can hope for a miracle. This is Rabbi Fleschel giving you something special on Animal Torah.